you shall be free indeed you are going to be free now you need deliverance now jesus gives you deliverance whatever sin it may be even if it is a secret sin it may be a sin which cannot be stopped jesus can give you freedom never ever accept sin submit to come out of it have faith that jesus will deliver you only then you can get deliverance My beloved friends in the name of Lord Jesus Christ I am greeting all of you now now it is a new month first day we are all happy now when a new month comes all workers will be happy you will get salary for that particular month first week everybody will be very happy when it comes to the end all will be struggling those who do business also will be very happy when a new month comes first week of the month they will have very good business everybody will have money so there will be good business like this when a new month begins we are all very happy at the same time there are struggles also oh god a new month has come debt should be returned interest should be given have to pay the fees have to settle the bill amount have to pay the money to the stores like this there are many problems like this every month there will be happiness on one side and sorrow on the other side but if god is with us every day will be happy day isn't it every day will be good and every day will be happy day only jesus should be with us because he is a blessing god he does every help to us in your life in your personal life is there a day when you got freedom from any kind of slavery just think about it is there a day like that everybody celebrates birthday birthday that is the day when we were born in this world I don't have any uh, interest in celebrating the birthdays that is cutting cakes etc but I remember one particular day on the day I was saved that was the year of 1972 on March 18th the day I got freedom from my sins the day I got freedom I was very happy and I used to thank God on that day God saved me and redeemed me from sins and he is leading me so I used to thank him happily Do you have a similar day like that the day you got freedom the day you were delivered think about it okay today you may need freedom from any particular thing in this month till now i have suffered a lot but at least in this month a good thing should happen you may be having an expectation as such okay what is the promise god gives us for this month god's words will bring miracles into our life Bible says that there is power and life in it. Today God is giving you a promise. John chapter 8 verse 36. So if the son sets you free you shall be free indeed. You see this word you shall be free indeed. That is the promise God is giving you. You shall be free indeed. You are going to be free now. You need freedom from a particular matter from fear from the problems of debts from sinful practices you are entangled in some kind of a thing you need deliverance from that you want someone to give you that deliverance he is jesus he came to this world to give us deliverance he sacrificed himself on the cross and he has gained deliverance for us When it comes to deliverance there is slavery you are slave to someone a wicked spirit called satan is working in this world in acts chapter 10:38 it says he went around doing good and healing to all who were under the power of devil so devil is keeping us in slavery he keeps people in many types of slavery and is destroying their peace of mind destroying their blessings destroying their happiness keeps them in a deep agony 
So to deliver us from the slavery of devil, we need a savior. Jesus came for that. He didn't come to establish a religion, didn't come to talk about religion, didn't say to spread religion. He's the God who gives deliverance. You need deliverance, isn't it? He is giving deliverance to all. You need not give money for that, need not take a long journey for that. You need not torture yourself for that. You should have faith and go to him. In what matter do you need deliverance? You should tell that particularly, then God will give you deliverance from it. Do you know what all things devil keeps you under slavery? In John chapter 8 verse 34, God tells a word, those who sin become slaves to sin. Sin turns a man into a slave. How? Because devil is behind the act of sin. In John 3.8, it is written that the one who does what is sinful is of the devil. That is why sin has a power it makes us slaves, alcoholic habits, drug addictions, lust habits, wrong relationships. We know it is wrong, but because we are not delivered, that has become a habit. We say it is very common in the society now, and just because we are not delivered from it, we say it is not wrong, and we reach to a stage where we accept that habit, isn't it? In this century, can we live without it? In this century, everything is common. That was at that time. Whichever time it is, sin is a sin. Sin will destroy peace of mind. It will destroy purity. It will take you to hell. Whoever it is, that is true. But because man cannot get freedom from sins, they started to agree to it and started to accept it. They started to think it as a culture. Now we can't live without taking bribe. Everybody takes it from the low level to higher level. Then do you think bribe isn't a sin? Now we cannot avoid drinks. Weekly ones, there will be a party and gents and ladies are drinking. Then do you think drinking is not a sin? It is sin. It is bondage. Many people, since they cannot stop it, they are making it as a part of their culture. They try to make a mentality that it is not a sin. But your conscience will argue with you. God has given a conscience inside you that will go on blaming you. Hence, you don't have peace. No peace of mind. People are running in search of it. Where can I go to get peace of mind and happiness? So, sin will make you a slave. You may be having a slavery in your life also. You need deliverance now. Jesus gives you deliverance. Whatever sin it may be, even if it is a secret sin, it may be a sin which cannot be stopped. Jesus can give you freedom. That is the real independence. That is the real deliverance. If you think for a moment, you in your life are slaves to something and think that it has to be accepted in that particular way. But Jesus can give you the real deliverance. You can lead a holy life. You can come out of that sin. Jesus can give you that freedom. Then you will have real peace in your mind. Otherwise, you cannot be happy. So, you should like that freedom. You should pray for that deliverance. Jesus is ready for that. So, he can give you deliverance. I have seen this in this world. Jesus changed a man within a second who was addicted to alcohol for 30 years. A man who was addicted to drugs for many years was changed by Jesus with just one touch and he was blessed. Same way, immoral sexual activities, they say that is not a mistake, it is natural and they continue to do that and are accepting that. But it is sin and something against nature. It is sin in the eyes of Lord. I know people who are saved from that and are leading a holy life. They say we were having immoral sex but God has redeemed us from that. Never ever accept sin. Submit to come out of it. Have faith that Jesus will deliver you. Only then you can get deliverance. So, my dear friends, this is a month of deliverance. You should get deliverance. There is yet one more thing. You read Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7. The borrower is slave to the lender. The problem of having debts will bring slavery in your life. If you take a loan from a person, you will get scared when you see them. He will threaten, he will scold you, he will insult you. You cannot say anything. Slavery to debts, it has affected many people in their lives. You need deliverance now. Jesus blesses everyone. He is the one who gives us prosperity. He meets all our needs. He delivers us from the problems of debts. 
It is written in the Bible that God has given deliverance to people who were in debts. What kind of debts do you have now? You have taken loan for children's education. You have taken loan for hospital expenses. You have taken loan for marriage expenses. Some people have taken loan for genuine needs and are suffering now. Some have taken loan for a flamboyant life and spent money lavishly. Instead of living within their income, they were taking loan here and there. Today, they are in debts. You should realize the sin. God, I have done a mistake. Forgive me. I spent money unnecessarily. You must ask God to help you and He will help you. In this month to get deliverance from debts problem, Jesus is ready to give you deliverance. You should have faith that Jesus can give you deliverance. Not only that, Read Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, Dominion of Darkness. That will make you slaves. What is that? It is the devil. What is the dominion of darkness? Devil is darkness. He will work more in darkness. Don't think he will not work in the daytime. He will work even in daytime. When do people do evil acts and black magic? In darkness, in the midnight. They work at that time. Everyone knows that. Bible says pestilence that stalks in the darkness. Only in darkness pestilence comes. Devil will bring pestilence in darkness. The evil things that happens in the darkness, that is the devil. Maybe you are affected by the devil or pestilence today. A fear of death, thought of committing suicide, an evil spirit that has stuck in you and given you pain, a spirit that affects your family life, a spirit that brings loss in your business. The power of darkness that tries to stop good things in your life. Like this, the devil does a lot of things to destroy your life forever. You need freedom from that. Jesus can give you that freedom. Jesus can bring you out of that bondage and slavery and can give you freedom. Yes, he can do that. Yes, my dear friends, I have seen it in my ministry. Once a mother came and told me, there is a spirit in me, brother. I feel there is a person in me. It is devil. Like this for many years, not one or two years. For 15 years she had that power of darkness. It sleeps with me in the night and I can feel it. I'm scared. I went to many places but didn't get deliverance. Today I came to Jesus. I called upon Jesus. That spirit has left me now. She came and gave her testimony happily. For so many years the power of darkness captured her and tortured her day and night without any gap. She went to many places but was not delivered. She called the name of Jesus. Jesus came to her life. Deliverance. What a joyful deliverance. Like this I have seen many people in my ministry life. God will do it for you. What is your problem? In which slavery are you suffering today? Is it sin? Is it curse? Or is it a problem of debt? Or it is the struggle of the devil? Do you have a struggle in your mind continuously or depression? From what do you need deliverance now? In which slavery are you entangled now? I need freedom from this. I'm always struggling. No peace of mind, no happiness. At least this month I must get a new life. Do you wish like this? Pray with faith right now. You must have faith. To give you deliverance, Jesus gave his life on the cross to be tortured, to suffer on the cross, he submitted himself. Can anyone make him a slave or tie him up? Never. But he submitted himself to be tied. To be nailed on the cross, he submitted himself. You know why? To give deliverance to you and me. To fight with Satan and to win. He shed his blood and destroyed the acts of the devil. He got victory over death and was resurrected alive. He is alive now. He will deliver you today. What do you have to do? In which matter do you need deliverance? You must ask and pray, Jesus, I need deliverance now. Then a miracle will happen. This is a month of deliverance. You are going to see a lot of deliverance in your life. Will you pray with me now? First, you must decide from what you need freedom. Is it from sin? From disease? From fear? From weakness? From debt problem? From family struggle? In which matter do you need freedom from? Which slavery do you need freedom from? You need to first decide that. I am going to pray, kneel down now. Hands of Jesus is going to touch you. 
you are going to feel deliverance now. Evil spirits will leave you and go away. Power of darkness will be destroyed. Immediately you are going to see the deliverance in your life. Close your eyes. Wherever you are, close your eyes and call Jesus. Jesus, you died on the cross to give me deliverance. You have promised to give deliverance to me. You have promised a true deliverance in my life. I need deliverance today itself. This month is a month of deliverance. From this month, my debt problem should go away. I need deliverance now. All my fears should go away. All my slavery should go away. I need purity hereafter. I don't need sinful slavery. I need deliverance. Pray now. You pray for one minute. Kneel down before Jesus and ask. Ask him like this. I need deliverance from this. Name it and ask. I am also going to pray along with you. Jesus is hearing your prayer. His presence is with you and in the place wherever you are. Father, I am praying for the deliverance of your dear children. You have promised that truly you are going to be delivered. I am praying for the deliverance of these children. Please look at these children who are struggling in the slavery of sin. I cannot leave this sin, unable to get rid of it. Sinful thoughts, sinful feelings, sinful behavior, secret sins. God, I need deliverance from this sinful bondage. Whoever is praying, Jesus, I need deliverance today. Let the power of your sacred blood descend into them. Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let your blood cleanse and purify them. Hereafter, that sin should never take charge of them. Let them get deliverance by your blood. The sinful thoughts should go away. God, let there be a purification in their personal life. Let them be delivered from the bondage of sin. I thank you for doing that. See the children who are suffering with the fear of death. I rebuke that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now. I command that it should leave them and go away. The spirit of fear, the spirit of committing suicide. Let the evil spirits which disturb their sleep in the night go away. Let them get deliverance from the power of the evil spirit. Father, you touched them. You gave them deliverance. Thank you. Problems of debts. God, I want freedom. It has been torturing me all these years. At least this month, give me freedom. Please look at your children who are crying now. Help them do a miracle. Bless them with your prosperity. Let them be delivered from the problems of debts in the name of Jesus. From today, let them have your blessing. Give them freedom from this struggle. Deliver them from this pain. Remove the burden from their mind and deliver them. Deliver this family and bless them. Let the happiness of deliverance come into their life. As per the word given by you that you will be delivered indeed, let them see deliverance this month. Let them see a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Let a miracle take place in every house. Let them rejoice the happiness of deliverance from today. I thank you for touching them. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we thank you for your passion. We thank you for touching your children and giving them deliverance. Thank you, thank you. We praise you. From today, let them enjoy happiness and joy in their life, God. Let there be a permanent deliverance and happiness in their life. I pray in the name of Jesus, O Father. Amen. Amen. My beloved friends, as per the promise given by God, He has given freedom to you. You will see a change from today. From this month, there will be changes in everything. But you should be grateful to God. You should tell this promise daily and thank God. For my deliverance, you have died on the cross. You have heard my prayer and delivered me. Thank you. I am receiving true freedom. Thank you, God. Like this, you should show your faith every day and keep praising God. Okay? Then you will get that freedom. God has given you freedom. You should not do that mistake again. Wait for Him. He will help you. What should you do? Read the Bible daily and should pray. Daily, as soon as you get up, go to the feet of God. Read His words carefully. Be with God. Don't be in any kind of slavery anymore. Sin, curse, loan, problems like that, unwanted things. Don't be entangled in any of these things. Ask God that you should not be a slave to anything and you should be very careful. Then God's grace and protection will be with you and lead you. 
God will bless you and guide you always. Amen. Dear viewers, kindly share with us the blessings that you have received through this program. Please send your address with phone number to our address below. Jesus Redeems, Department of New Media, Nala Mavadi, Tuticorin District, 628211. Phone number 04639 Double two double zero double two. For twenty-four hours prayer support, call zero four six three nine double two double zero double zero. May God bless you.